Hey guys, welcome back to another Clash Royale video. Today is Balance Update Day. We're going to be taking a look at the Executioner, which got a sizable 6% damage buff in the update. We're going to be rocking it in this giant Executioner Tornado deck, as you can see right there. If you guys are looking for a no legendary option of this deck, go ahead and use the Musketeer instead of the Electro Wizard. But there's a deck we're using today. Let's go ahead and hop into one replay versus a Balloon deck. Then we'll finish off with some live battles. Alright, here we go, facing off against Vladir, a fellow level 12 in the top there, and he's rocking a giant balloon deck. Now, one of the reasons I was so excited to use the Executioner uh, after the buff is because the Executioner-Tornado combo is a really strong counter to Lava Loon decks. Now, I'm going to go in with a Greedy Pump in the bottom right-hand corner. Thankfully, my opponent doesn't really have a good pushing hand in his starting card rotation, so he isn't able to punish me for that pump. Instead, he's forced to use a Fireball on the tower as well as the pump, which I'm kind of okay with because I still get a couple of Electric back with the Electric Collector. Now, I do use an Ice Spear right there to counter one Archer. Looking back at it, I should have just soaked up a bit of damage on my tower, saved the one Electric for a stronger Giant push, but nonetheless, we got a Giant going down in the left-hand lane right here. Gonna wait for the minutes to get closer and for the Giant to get closer to the bridge before I use the Executioner. You don't really want to rush the Executioner in that scenario right there. You don't want to risk having the Executioner go in front of your Giant on a counter push. Now, watch this right here. Watch how fast an Executioner counters those Barbarians. Two Axe Throws is all it takes for the Barbarians to go down. And that's even with a level 6 Executioner versus level 12 Barbarians. And that's a one level lower interaction. To put it in perspective for you guys, I would need a level 7 Executioner to be equal level against those level 12 Barbarians. Nonetheless though, we still have an early one tower lead here so far. And both of my towers still sitting pretty full in health with the tower on the right hand side sitting at 2,562. Now with my opponent using a giant balloon deck and me having a strong counter with Tornado and Executioner, I'm going to focus on playing defense for the rest of the battle and hold on for that one crowd, uh, one tower rather, victory. Now I do have to cycle through some cards here to get back to my air defense. Tornado going down, pulling back the balloon as well as the uh, giant. Ice Spirit, Electro Wizard combo, finishing them off. Notice the very bad placement of the Electro Wizard right there. Way too close to the bridge, allowing the archers to shoot over and assassinate the Electro Wizard. I should have used the Electro Wizard like two tiles closer to my King Tower to prevent him from being targeted by those archers. But nonetheless, mistakes were made, lessons were learned. Hopefully I won't do that again in the future. So right here, we're setting up another giant push. And I think for the rest of the battle, my opponent just kind of keeps going through the same rotation over and over again of trying to set up giant push. And I just keep doing the same defense over and over again of execution of tornado combo, shutting down every push he sends at me. So right here, uh, um, giant going up, protecting my executioner. Look at this clutch tornado spell here, pulling in the archers, pulling in the barbarians, the minions, and the giant, allowing the executioner to do massive work at finishing them all off with only a couple of axles. That's one of the reasons I love the Executioner Tornado combo. The Tornado is so versatile with the Executioner. There are so many different things you can do with the Tornado spell, uh, like, like pulling Goblin Barrels or Miners or Hog Riders to your tower and activating King Tower early, or pulling everything together and allowing the Executioner to do work. So right here, I'm gonna pull back the Giant as well as the Balloon. Let the Executioner do his thing right there and finish all that Giant Balloon combo with some double Executioner action. And only a couple seconds left, guys. We are able to hold on for the one crown victory. But there you have it, guys. Let's go ahead here and hop into some live battles. All right, here we go, guys. Sitting at 4,931 trophies right now, facing off against Casey. And we actually have the pump in our starting hand, which means we can be pretty lucky if he doesn't have a quick cycle deck. So hopefully he doesn't punish us because you want to get that pump advantage going on early. Um, let's see here. What does Casey do? He zaps the tower. All right. He is giving us the free one, guys. Let's take it. Or not. Alright, I guess he just zapped the tower for like uh, to cycle his cards. I don't think he was happy with the starting card rotation. But I would have I would have zapped the uh, the electric collector to be honest guys. Or zap the electric collector and the tower on the right hand side. You know? Yeah no. Let's go boom. Oh bomb tower! What? No! Not the bomb tower. I look like the Electro Wizard getting in there doing the work, guys. All right, but you got the max barbarians, guys. These max burbs. The max barbarians. Ready? 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 Boom. Do we kill? Can we pump? Yes, we can. Soak up that damage. Soak it, soak it, soak it. Now, I want to pull a hog rider to my tower, but with the pump in that location right now, we're going to wait for it to go down first before we can do that. But please do a hog rider right now, sir. Please do it, sir. I wonder if we do it though, if the giant will block the hog rider. 
All right, he's, he loves that zap in the tower action, guys. Is that a good play or not? Zap in the tower? I honestly don't know. Freeze it. Nice, 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 nice. All right, she's got some uh, bomb tower action once again. Oh, the executioner doing work right there. Look at that, bombs are dead, guys. Oh, thanks to my executioner. Thank you, executioner. Much appreciated. Much appreciated. Let's go. Ready? Wait for it, wait for it, wait for it. Boom. Boom. Double zap action. Boom. Nice. There we go. The double zap, guys. God, I love that double zap action. Can we do this right here? Nice. There we go. Countering the Hog Rider. We'll do one more pump because this game will go into overtime. I wish I had minions in this deck so I can go across the river to counter that uh, bomb tower right there. That's kind of my wish right now. Wait a second, then we'll do Ice Spirit as well to counter the barbs. Ready for this? Mm, questionable tornado, guys. Questionable. Definitely questionable. Now, we're not going to do any more pumps in this battle because uh, we need to get something going right here. We need to get something going. Let's do this. Do boom. Ice Spurt. Pull it back. Pull it back. Thank you. Do giant up front for here. See if we can't get another execution going down right here. Uh, I want to cycle to my NATO here. Give me my NATO. Give me my NATO. Give me my NATO. NATO. Pull him back. Pull him back. Save the one executioner, please. Thank you. Giant, get in there. Come on. Giant and Electro Wizard on the tower. That should be GG right there, guys. Uh, let's just zap this. Boom. He's dead. He's dead. Give him the old thumbs up as well to Mr. Casey. <laughs> good luck, a good game. Thumbs up. Well played. And uh, that's all the emote I actually want to do right now. But there we go, guys. Sitting at 4,959. He was at level 11, though. But um, card levels were pretty comparable. I think his barbarians were max or 12. Can't remember, but they were definitely up there. And the execution, like, just to put it in perspective for you guys, if I can speak properly. Uh... Even though my Executioner is level 6, which is pretty strong, um, against 12 Barbarians and 13 Barbarians, you need a level 7 or a level 8 uh, Executioner just to have a balanced fight. So, all the interactions you're seeing in this video, like, watching how fast the Executioner kills 12 Barbarians, watching how fast it kills uh, 13 Barbarians, it's uh, honestly faster. It's faster against uh, when, it's, when it's an equal level. Okay. Raging off the uh, graveyard there. Is that a good idea or not? I don't know, but we're going to pump up right there. Now, he does have the P.E.K.K.A., which is a really strong counter to the Executioner. By the way, I want to ask you guys, for those of you that have been playing a lot since Balance Update Day, what changes or differences are you noticing on ladder and in the meta? Are you seeing less Royal Giants? Are you seeing less Elite Barbarians? Are you seeing less Balloons? Or is it basically the same amount? Um... For me, I've been playing for a little while this morning. I'm noticing, honestly, the same amount of Royal Giants, the same amount of Elite Barbarians. They are still over-leveled, uh, you know, all that jazz. So, um, uh, it, it just helped a bit. Like, it just helped a little bit, but not really a drastic change at all. Giant, get in there. Thank you. No, I'm going to have my NATO ready for something here. Pump, give me some Elixir, please. What do we got for us? We want to line up the tower with the Ice Wizard and allow the uh, execution to take it out. There we go. Thank you. There we go. There we go. Oh, does this not do anything here? Oh, he's because the Electro Wizard is dead. Executioner is tearing stuff up right there. Boom. Down goes the tower. Nice. Uh, let's go. Executioner over here. We're going to save our uh, Electro Wizard for the... Um, what should we call it? The graveyard for the zap effect. We'll have like a double zap right here, like this. Boom, boom. Let's go with this, Nato. We're gonna go boom, Electro Wizard. Boom, nice. Nice, 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 nice. Uh, guys, I don't know what he's doing. I don't know. His deck is super unique. I love it. Oh, he might kill us right here, though, guys. Oh, the Electro. The Executioner Axe right there, man. Coming in clutch for sure. Okay. Wait, wait, wait. Wait, is that? Ice Spurt here. Skeleton's here. 
Executioner back here. Guys, good game. Good game. That tornado combo with the Executioner is so strong. So strong. Let's see how much trophies we have now. Is that proper grammar? Let's see how much trophies we have right now. I think it should say how many trophies. 4992! A new personal best. Are we in the leaderboards or nah? We're kind of late in the season, guys, so... Let's see here. Local. 4992, 4992. Nope, we're not. We're not cool enough to, get, to guys to be on the leaderboard just yet. But maybe after this battle. This is going to be the final battle, by the way. Facing up against Riven from Tempest. So, one thing you might want to consider. There's two things about this deck that I want to suggest to you guys. You can use a Golem instead of the Giant for extra uh, beatdown power. Because the Golem is just so strong. Like, overwhelming. Like, whereas the Giant, like, often I notice the Giant just dies super fast. The Giant does die pretty quickly, guys. But I noticed that the... That I think with a Golem, like, normally when the Giant dies, the Golem explodes with the, with the splash damage would help on your push and kill those smaller units. Uh, this deck, I just can't beat this deck, guys. In case you're wondering, I don't really do well against this Mortar Cycle. It always destroys me. Because, look, he has another he has another Mortar in his hand right here. I mean, we're going to soak up some of... Uh, yeah, he's going to do that, so let's do a pump right here. But uh, the Golem, guys, the Golem would, would honestly be really well in this deck, too, because the Golem Death just kills, uh, sp like, Swarm units and stuff like that, and it just lasts so much longer. Obviously, you got to play a little bit more defensively in the first couple of minutes of the battle, and then um, and then wait, whereas this, you can kind of use the Giant anytime. It's just different play style, and also, you can use minions. You can, they like, kind of use minions instead of, uh, like, the Skeletons or the Ice Spirit. But I like to, I like to have faster cycling. Now, I don't think he has his rocket in his hand right here. So let's go boom. Yes, giant. Do it. Kill the mortar, please. Before it killed my uh, executioner. Yes. E wizard, get in there. Executioner, get in there. Yes, E wizard. Come on, executioner. One more hit. One more hit. One more hit. Thank you. Now, he's going to do a uh, mortar right here. Give me some lecture, please. If that mortar locks on, I'm literally dead. Um, um, um. Giant, go down. Yes. Woo. Woo, that was close, guys. We might lose this still because. I don't like to be negative, but I honestly, I don't play very well against this deck. Against these uh, motorcycle decks, they just always, always overwhelm me. Now, he does have Rocket, which kills Execution, so we have to kind of keep that in mind. Just boom. Thank you. Does he Rocket the Executioner into here? That's the question. I don't want to use the Electro Wizard next to the Executioner. We're going to pump up right here. Uh, bad sap chain, bad sap is bad. Definitely bad, definitely. Oh, yes, kill the archers. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Let's go this, this. Giant up front. Try and keep the pressure up to prevent him from doing anything. But like I said, I don't really want to... We're going to try it right here. He's, he might rocket this push right here. I can almost guarantee he's going to rocket that. Mm, no rocket. But we're going to try and keep cycling here, guys. Boom, giant. Those defensive mortars are just, uh, dirty. Dirty. Honestly, at best, I'm gonna, I'm gonna try and hold out for a draw here. Just because I, I know I don't do well against this deck. I'm gonna try and hold out for a draw here, because that motorcycle game is on point on his end right there. And as you can see right there, like, the giant just dies super quick, whereas if you had a, uh, if you had a, uh, golem, like, you can really overwhelm, so it's a bit of a different playstyle. Both of them had their pros and cons. Uh, but let's see here. Getting a bit of work done right there, though, eh? Uh, bad, bad, uh, skeletons were bad. Okay, don't overextension, don't overextend, don't overcommit too much right here. There we go, there we go. That's overcommitting right there. Executioner, do the work. Alright, uh, I don't think he has enough time to finish us, but we are going to hold up for a draw right here. He's going to rocket right there. Good game. So, we held out for a draw, which honestly isn't too bad considering how much I don't really play well against this deck. But, uh, hit the OK button right there. There we go, guys. 4,992 trophies. There's the deck one more time if you want to go ahead and copy it. Like I said before, you can use a Golem instead of the Giant. You can use a Musketeer instead of the Electro Wizard. Or you can use three Electro Minions instead of one of these two cards to help give you some more beatdown power. 
I like having faster cycle cards in all of my decks, just my personal playstyle. But anyways, guys, that's the end of the video. Like I said before, let me know what changes you've noticed since the balance update came live in the comment section down below. I really hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure to hit that like button and subscribe for some more Clash Royale content. Thank you so much for watching, guys. We will see you in the next one.